All right, guys, I'm here with Anurag, who is studying nanotechnology. Micro and nanosystems. Micro and nanosystems. Yeah. I just can't get it right, man. Okay, so um, Anurag, a lot of people are actually watching this video just because they want to know the kind of process like, how you came here. Also, uh, they would also be interested if you can talk a bit more about the subjects which you're studying. Yeah. And um, uh, two or three points, a nugget of information on what is a job market like if I study this kind of course here in Germany. Okay. And um, if you can also shed some light on why Germany for this particular subject and what are the advantages of being a student. So again, I'm just throwing yeah. up a lot of questions. It's We're going to go slowly, slowly, okay? Yeah. Just for the beginning, um, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself to my audience? I am Anurag and I have done my bachelor's in electrical engineering from Chennai SNM University and I am actually from Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad mm -hmm. and yeah, I have come to Germany in 2013, 2013. 2013 October. Yeah. Okay, so um, Anurag, do you have any still glimpse because I know it's a long time back yeah. but uh, do you know some points where you can, you know, tell my audience how they can apply in there? Yeah, basically applying to Germany is actually very easy. Yeah. To say you have to select your universities through there is a website D A D W A D. Dot yeah. Dot website mm -hmm. and from there you select the universities which you, you are uh, looking for the course for Correct. the course and then there is a uni assist where you have to pay some eighty dollars. I think seventy five euros. Seventy five euros. Fifteen, 15 euros. Fifteen for euros for every, every university. Correct. And then you then you send your documents like your Correct. resume and everything. Yeah. And if your uh, if your profile get accepted, then then you get an admit letter, and from then you can start your visa work with that admit letter. Yeah. And uh, uh, visa depending on your where, where you live, there is a visa office, visa immigration office for Germany, and you can apply for visa for there. And after that, it's you since you come from Hajbad, yeah. where did you go for your visa? Uh, I I had to go to Chennai because in Hyderabad there was no German German embassy okay. office actually. To embassy, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to go to Chennai. Right. I, I it took almost maybe two three weeks to get my visa. There was three weeks, yeah, three to four weeks. Yeah. And before that, you have to open a Deutsche Bank account because here Deutsche Bank account is mandatory for students. Blocked account. Blocked account. Mm -hmm. You have to show around eight thousand euros. Correct. So that uh, that is a mandatory thing you have to do, you have to do for any student, any inter international student. Correct. All right. So that's all part about um, introduction. Let's go a bit further now. So why Germany? Like why, in your view, what is that first thing which clicks in your head? Like why do you want to do this course here in Germany? Uh, first thing, technology. Yeah. To say technology very advanced and there is several research going on related to my field, micro system. It's very much very research oriented and. There's a lot of things being developed in this course, in this course, and mm -hmm. also the education is free. Of education is free. Yeah, no, no yeah, fees. Yeah, no fees. How much do you pay uh, for semester? For semester, I pay two thirty euros. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's one major factor that plays because many students would like don't prefer to take loan and in like US they have to pay use some huge amount of money to get Correct. an admission. And Correct. Course. Let me put broken pieces into together. So you applied, you got admission, you went for visa to Chennai, you got your... Yeah, exactly. Now you're in Germany. Yeah. Um, what next? What is the first thing students should do the moment they come here? They Imagine it's like my first day. Okay. What should I do? First day, if you know anyone in the university, you can contact them beforehand. Correct. And maybe they can help you or he or she can help you out in the basic procedure over here like getting a dorm, a dormitory, accommodation and you have to register here for whichever university that you are there here. Okay. And registration everything, you can help, uh, can help you or else you can contact directly the student and work. It's like a... It's an organization. It's like an organization. Where the where they help the incoming students, international students, with all the detail, with all the activities and accommodation and everything. Right. So you can be contact beforehand them beforehand uh, before leaving to Germany. Correct. So that it will be better for you when you come over here. So should I apply to accommodation? Uh, I, in fact, I can only apply to accommodation only when I am a student here, right? In Germany. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So you said the moment you come here in Germany. The first thing what you should do is go and enroll yourself in university yeah. and then look out for accommodation. Look out for accommodation. Right. And, and then do I have to do city registration? Yeah, that? you have to do city registration because you have to sit, you have to register yourself in the city, you right. have to get your insurance, medical insurance, get medical insurance Correct. also. 
then you have to go, go to the Deutsche Bank and open your account. It means show you that I show the documents. That activate you have, your blocked activate account. Activate my block. Activate your blocked account. Correct. So blocked account, finding an accommodation. These two videos I have made it. I'm going to link it in the description. Go check it out. Let's move on from here. Okay. Can you talk a bit more about the subjects what you're studying right now? Uh, from sure. from first year till whatever semester you are, you're in eighth semester, I guess. Eighth semester, right. right. So you don't need to talk specific about everything, just mm -hmm. important subjects which you would want to talk about so that people have an understanding of it. Okay. So my course is micro and nano systems. So from the name itself, we can understand. Maybe Correct. It's related to micro and nano, micro technology, and nanotechnology. So it's the procedure, it's like 120 credit system in, for this course Correct. and there are 70 credits which are only for subjects which you have to clear everything and after that 20 credits will be for project, research project and then 30 credits for thesis. Aha, uh -huh, correct. So you have to clear your subjects first. Then what are the subjects? Uh, subjects, ex the core of our, our course will be the physics, semiconductor physics okay. and smart sensors and reliability. This, this, and these three are the main subjects which we'll be dealing with, and then many research is going on on these subjects, and related to sensors. This, all these subjects are interrelated. Like, if you prepare a sensor in smart sensors, there should be a reliability testing, like the quality of the sensor. Correct. And there should be physics involved behind that, and but so it's interrelated everything. In that way, I, in that way, these are the subjects main which will be involved. And apart from that, there is also fabrication side where you have to fabricate the silicon chips. Hmm. Silicon chips and papers. That is also one kind of subject. That is also other field which you can venture into, if not, yeah, it depends on your interest. Correct. And there is also a little bit of programming, but programming is not that much in, in this course. But you can you can involve programming too by by just wireless pro wireless communication. And everything also get, can can be involved in this. Okay. Um. All right, that was a uh, very comprehensive. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah. I think I'm going to ask you last question. Okay. How is the job market like? Now, in those, how is the job market like? Do I need to know German? What kind of jobs I should look out for? First thing, German, if you know German, then the chances of getting a job are more. The probability will be increased very much if you know German. So German, knowing German is a must. Mm -hmm. If you don't know German also, there are many jobs, but you can't, uh, the market will not be open for you. Correct. Related to the course, jobs means mainly on research side. So there will be PhD positions which will be open or as any jobs in R&D department for any company. Or if you want to go a little bit practical to the job side, you can involve, involve some programming or some circuit designing into your thesis. So that it will be advantageous for you in the job. Correct. Means you can get into the practical field or as main thing will be, main, main is, Main part will be research for this course. Yeah. So everything will be related to research, PhD, R&D positions. Okay. Okay. Again, a lot of students actually they don't know this, but since you're in, in a city called Chemnitz, when I apply for courses from India, do I look for courses in big cities or do I look for courses in small towns? Where are the opportunities? You know. I mean, of course, I know you should always be next to sun if you want to feel the heat. Yeah. Right, so it's just like if you want more business, you go to cities like Berlin, Hamburg, Frankfurt, Munich. But do you think is there any other potential to stay back in city small towns? I think the first thing you have to look for is, is course. The, if you're selecting a course, we, we, is it suitable for you? Do you like the course? The first thing you have to look at, look out for that. And I think doing the course in big cities would be advantageous. You get a lot of exposure and compared to the smaller cities, you will get a lot of part-time jobs. Mm -hmm compared to small cities yeah, and there will be several opportunities even more compared to uh, if you are doing a small town like Cambridge spot in, in where I am doing. So I think opportunities will be more if you work in the... Because if you, if your, you see the courses, the institutions mm -hmm. are almost in the small towns. If you see some of the biggest institutions and the famous ones, yeah, they are in the, the small towns. TUs. TUs, the, the, TUs, TUs, TUs mainly. mainly. They are in the smaller towns, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, if you have to say exactly, if you do in a TU, then obviously there will be recognition, so it doesn't matter. But if you are not in not doing it in a TU, in if you are doing it no actually, then it, it, I think it would be better doing a bigger city. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Uh, thanks a lot. That was a yeah. uh, very quality information. I'm sure a lot of people are going to take away, um, you know, nugget information from this video. Um, and uh, we also saw the campus. Thanks a lot. 
yeah. for showing the campus. And uh, yeah, I'm going to interview some more students now uh, from automotive and embedded systems. So yeah, bye bye for now.